Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's building time. We're going to build the Lego Friends Andrea's talent show. There is so much in this. It's actually, you're going to see, it's just like, you know, America's got talent or Australia's got talent or whichever country's got talent. But in this case, it's Hot Lake City's got talent. We got four bags. We got, oh, pretty stickers. And of course, we've got the instruction book, which means we know exactly what we're going to do. So let's start by meeting the mini dolls. And Andrea has got some awesome boots. She is dressed for performing. Got a great little mesh top on. Her whole outfit is absolutely on point and her hair is where is it where is her hair her hair is as immaculate as it always is she's ready to perform and she's got a stick so she's got one random stick which is not actually random here's the other one she's got some drumsticks because part of her talent is going to be playing the drums so we're gonna have to build a drum kit but she's not alone in this set she is also joined by some really cute pink boots look at these they're like doc martens but in pink black skirt on this girl and great top too this whole outfit is fantastic this this is chloe who we've actually seen as a commentator but in this case oh like her purple <gasps> lipstick and her eyebrows are just that really nice quirkiness her whole face is really <gasps> her hair's got metallic stripes oh my goodness okay so chloe is going to be the talent show judge so she needs a pencil so she can write all her judgy comments down on the judgy piece of paper so she can make a judgment so we got chloe we've got andrea there's also a bunny, but we'll save the bunny for when we need the bunny because we've got a whole heap of little performance stages that we need to put together. Now, if Andrea is going to go through this talent show, she's going to need several different acts. And this first one on the first stage here, while she's still holding her drumsticks, is obviously singing, which is her most her strongest, her strongest talent. And she's going to use drumsticks for that somehow <laughs> no she's not she's gonna use the drumsticks for this one here because we're building the drum set this is really cool this is really really cool so you can't tell it's a drum set yet and she's got a water bottle which is good because it can get very very exhausting performing and you must stay hydrated to keep your vocal folds nice and hydrated it's really important and we've got a nice big symbol here and we've got a little symbol here they're in shiny shiny silver they are hanging off the side there so we've got some suspended symbols and she needs the drums themselves so little drum paddy kind of things here and they get stickers on them so they are definitely andrea themed stickers so this is a drum set she brought with her for the performance especially made for the performance and on the front she's got the big bass drum it's got a star on it of course because andrea is a star Good, so she's got a drum set. She has got the microphone, which Chloe's just testing. Testing, one, two, one, two, 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 one, two. And now we have got uh, something that doesn't look like a little performance stage at all. I don't know what this is. This has got a squishy bit and it's got another squishy bit. Two little matching squishy bits. So we're gonna have a part that can be squished <laughs> for the squishy bits. Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. So this looks like it's going to be hinged. We've got a green button and it's, oh, it's, oh, it's on top of the squishy bit. So that's the green button. And on top of the other squishy bit is a red button. Green for go, red to stop. Maybe this is like the sound desk or the lighting desk. We got <laughs> with the buttons to turn it on and off. Well, this is cool. And here's a little list. So something obviously to remember and um oh no okay so that's the, for the green button that's for the red this is the judging desk so those are our little faces for when she gets the green yay or when she gets the red oh no and we've got a chair for the judge to sit in so judging desk and chloe is the judge i don't know how she's qualified to be the judge of a talent competition does she have any talents herself apart from being a commentator i don't know Sometimes you don't need any talents, you just basically need to have a, a, a name and be famous. Okay, we've got a nice big camera here to be recording the judge and the judging and of course the talent acts. And on the other side of the desk, we have got the prize. In this case, if Andrea wins, a hundred 
thousand dollars or smackaroos or whatever currency they use in Hot Lake City and a trophy. Oh wow, okay. This is exciting. The camera is on. Andre is busy practicing the drums in preparation because we are making another little performance stagey thing, I think, by those, it's the same shape as the other little orange circles. And this one has got a moving part because I can see a cogwheel thing there. So we're gonna have something that has to turn hmm, here, right? Okay, we'll keep building and then we will discover how this all works. Hopefully, <laughs> if I build it correctly. And if I build it incorrectly, we will never discover how it works because then I'll have to rebuild it. So never say never. On the front of this, we've got, oh, I love these little quarter pie pieces. They make such a pretty decoration and a star here. So we've just kind of created a box with a moving Ah, oh, so this is for the bunny. So this is, it's a magic show. And the bunny is part of the, mag the magic show and also a set of cards. So she's got her magic tricks ready up her sleeve and the bunny, the bunny it disappears into the box. <gasps> now you see it, now you don't. That's very cute. Bye bye bunny. Oh, bunny's back again. Okay, I don't know that the bunny's going to be the best little participant in this, but we'll find out as we go along. We're up to bag number two now and we have built all the little performance, uh, little performance area-y things. Now we need the big stage. The Heart Lake's got talent construction. This is super duper exciting. So let's move this along so we can really see how it all works. We've got some lights here on the front. Got a little turntable there. So we're going to once again have moving parts. Love it, I love it. This is really cool. We're gonna be able to do so many good things with this. Who else is gonna to wanna to perform on this stage? All the girls are gonna to wanna to have a go. Was that even English? All of the girls are going to want to have a go. There we go, that was better. That made sense. Another turntable, oh, turntables on either side. Maybe they could put a whole band up here on the stage. Though they've already done that with the, uh, with the pop star set. So I don't think this is going to be set up the same way. This little cog is now hidden here underneath, but we can still access it from around the back. Look at how big this stage area is in relation to Andrea. This is gonna be cool. So we've got another little coggy thing here and it has got smoothed over parts and this one gives you somewhere to stand on it. And okay. All right, so we can turn it around from the back. Andrea can stand on this and spin. She can do her spinning act where she can spin round and round and round and get so giddy, but not feel nauseous. That is truly, truly an amazing act because if I spin around, I get really, really, really nauseous. <laughs> okay, we are uh, not concentrating enough and Andrea was just doing a little spin on that. She needs to concentrate too. We've got some nice big smooth areas to make that little outcrop on the front of the stage, which is obviously going to be the performing area. Now let's see what else we have here. And at the moment it's, it's symmetrical at the back and we've got, these look like speakers to me. Oh, okay, so they're little, uh, they're little fold-back speakers so she can hear her accompaniment or her, her backing track and we're up to bag number three. This is actually looking so good. Oh, this is cool. So little feedback, feedback, fold-back speakers. We've got some nice big columns going up the side. Andrea's spinning around. She's so excited. She's so excited. And now we have got something else that's gonna move. We've got a big red knob on it and that pulls in and out and we're making a mirror image one for the other side with a green knob. Now where did we see green and red before? We saw that on the judging panel table. Ooh, nice big floor to ceiling scaffolding to hold I assume speakers or lights. So there's gonna be some really good lighting down here on Andrea when she's performing. This is going well, right. So, We've got a place to put lights. I assume we're gonna do that soon. This doesn't look like lights. This looks like quite a substantial little piece of building. Oh, cute. It's really cute. And we're making a matching one. Oh, I just figured out what these are. These are the curtains on either side. Now, I don't think they're gonna actually open and shut them. I think they're just kind of scenery, but they look so pretty. 
that really frames the area so beautifully. We've got a nice big piece of scaff here to go along the top too, to give a bit of a curtainy framework along the top. Looking fantastic, what a great build. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I promised you some lights on this scaff. Let's get them on. We got some nice little color lights here and we've got four little pink ones. It's gonna be so colorful out there on stage. Four little pink lights to go out on the scaffolding as well. So these go out here, they're gonna be little spotties, little spotlights. Gonna do some side lighting. Oh, that's so pretty, <laughs> so pretty. Okay, uh, black round thing with um, some more of these little half pie pieces. And so another tall structure with, oh, okay. So we're putting the stickers on. We have got uh, one of the magic show kind of stickers. And this one's got, oh, okay. So this is, so if you're really sitting far back in the audience, these are the big screens that you can see from far away. This is recording so that it can be broadcast also live to television. So all of the voters at home can vote. Oh, hold on, all the viewers at home can vote too because they will love Andrea. They don't get a choice. They're going to love what she does. So that's one side. We're going to need one for the other side. And this one's going to have, I don't know, matching, matching pictures. This is for the magic show. It really is so cute. And here's, okay, so this is the recording for when Andrea's doing her card trick. Hopefully that all goes well because it is being broadcast straight to your TV sets at home. The other side's got the speakers on it. So we'll set it up with the speakers at the moment because it's not magic show time yet. And we have got some little shooters, which is, um, which is interesting. These, <laughs> well, they work quite well. These actually go up here on the top. These are the fireworks for when the, uh, when the, 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 the big announcement is made at the end. So fireworks, that's pretty cute. Okay, now bag number four brings us what? We've pretty much got this structure in place. We need a nice big frame for the top, the big bit that goes over the top to make it all kind of cohesive. We've got some rounded pieces, I love all this. All these half circle pieces and quarter circle pieces are just made so many design options available so cool lots of little stars on here this is looking very art deco with this shape <laughs> and another big billboardy thing with andrea's symbol on it this goes slap bang in the middle and on the back we need well, surely we need something to actually attach it to our big structure but before we do that we're going to put some magic wands on <laughs> This one sticking up the top now. It's not just one. There are two more on the sides to balance it out. So that's kind of like the fireworks too. <laughs> it's kind of random though. It's very decorative though. And this is where we're going to attach it into the uh, the Technic piece up the top. Cool. This is so clever. There we go. Look at that. The stage looks awesome. We could also use it as a big amphitheater if we wanted to as well. Okay, what are we building now? Another sign of some description? Oh, okay, all right. So these are the happy and sad signs. This is the one you get if you are voted happily by the judges or by the viewers at home. Uh, yep, so it's got the little green knob on it, so we know that green is for good. And if it doesn't go quite so well and you've been having an off day and you get the sad, not so good vote. Oh, oh, look at that. Well, maybe that's the one when you just spin around lots and lots of times, because that's what I look like when I look nauseous and queasy in the tummy. I kind of look like that with my tongue out. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I know it's totally not what that is, but still. Okay, so the green one goes on this side where our little green buttony thing is. Red one goes on that side. And we actually suspend them up here in the air. Clever design, nice and simple. Just pull it out. And then the correct little one drops down. We're gonna leave the happy one on there because I like the happy one. <laughs> but we can't all always be winners. There is there's always challenges in life. Okay, what else have we got now? Because I just don't know how else we could fit anything else onto this particular little build, but obviously we are. We're building well, it looks like it looks like a little mini room. There's a table in there. Is this going to be another little? Oh, it's a mirror. Okay, so this is 
Oh, I love the fact that we've got stuff in here from from Andreas, like from the um, from the from from the shop, from the dress up shop. So this is the dressing room, so she needs a brush which goes on that clip and on the table she's got a very bright red lipstick and she's got a cup too, like I said, keep hydrated, very important. Or she could be having coffee and <laughs> she needs to stay awake <laughs> or to, no coffee, no coffee because you need something to calm your nerves, maybe some chamomile tea, that would be more sensible. Okay, she's got a chair so she can sit at the mirror and she can get all ready here calm her nerves with some chamomile tea before the big show and this goes it attaches onto the back how clever I love that okay we've got another little another little room here because this is going in the same well the build is going in the same way as the last bit that we did so what's in this other little room that's going to be a backstage area well she needs she needs a place to store her magic wand, magic wand for the magic trick, and this thing, okay, oh cool, all right, we get out a magic cloak and this brand new skirt, which is all crinkly and stiff. It's the first time we have seen a skirt for the Lego mini dolls. This is exciting, she's going to get to wear it on stage. We've also got a magic show hat there, and this is her dress up part of the dressing room. So let's try this skirt on, see how it all works. It's so crisp. <laughs> it's, it's like being starched within an inch of its life. And maybe it has a front or a back. Let's see, it sits, it actually seems to sit better this way. So this is the way we're gonna wear it. So this is cool. She can dress up in all sorts of different choices. She can wear that for her magic act, or she can take the skirt off and we'll put the, uh, we'll put the cape on like she's supposed to have for her magic act, so she can have all sorts of different outfits. That's awesome! This is fun, there's so many ways to play with this. And now we, how can we possibly have more things we can add onto this build? It's just got so much stuff going on already. We've got these little technique builds, making kind of hinges or what? What are these things? Let's, uh, let's go and put this other half of the dressing room over here though. And these go in here backstage. For what purpose? Uh, I don't know. We can actually take these dressing room pieces and we could put them, we can detach them nice and easily and we can put them together. Kind of don't like them like that. I wonder if we can make them together like, like a single room if I put all the little Technic pieces of that. Did I put this together the wrong way? I'm not certain. Anyway, I'd like the flat sides to go together so it's kind of like that one little cohesive room. That's cute! And now we can we can pull that apart if we want to add it back and make it just one nice big build. But of course we can pull them apart if we want to move them all around. That's so fabulous. And now let's try out these little performance spaces because they actually all, we'll put the drumsticks on here, they actually all sit here on the front. So easy to get on and off, there's actually space for your fingers to even get in and detach them and they can spin around by just turning around at the back. Oh good, this is, this is, this is really such a well thought out build. Okay, all right, so we've got the magic show all set up here. Ah, oh, now I know what these little pieces are at the back for. So let's get Andrea set up here. We'll put our speakers all set up nicely because we are going to create a backdrop for her with these are actually a tab to put in your device. So you can download or just have a backdrop, anything you like, or even a music video going that she can be performing along to. I thought this one with her Andrea, the big Andrea thing would look so good behind while she's performing. This would look better with like an iPad mini maybe to fill up that whole space. That would look so cool. But a phone will do nicely. All right, we're ready to perform. Okay, Chloe has introduced the first competitor and only competitor today who is Andrea. She's so excited to be. Oh, hold on, we just knocked Chloe off. Okay, so let's uh, put Chloe there a bit more safely. Andrea is ready to perform. So Chloe is coming down here to sit on the judging panel and the TV cameras are ready to roll. And Andrea has got her first beautiful song going. Can you hear it? Isn't it the most 
angelic thing you've ever heard and the crowd goes wild you can't hear them but they are going wild you just have to imagine in your head chloe thinks that this was so good so she has hit that green button and that means the green banner gets to fall down yay this is a great start this is a great start to heart lake's got talent right it is time for the magic show and the, for this it is time to bring in the bunny okay okay let's set up our little magic show screens and Andrea's ready, and the bunny is here, ready to perform. We're gonna need that magic hat, so here we go. We will make this bunny disappear magically from the hat. <gasps> Abracadabra, that was amazing! And now, now we can make the bunny magically reappear. Uh-oh, hold on. That did not work as it was supposed to. Where did that bunny go? Right, okay, so this act did not go quite as well to plan, so Chloe's going to have to hit that, oh, boom, boom, oh, the sad button, but that's okay, Andrea's keeping her spirits up, she can totally redeem this with her next act, the drumming session, and uh, she's completely dressed now in her comfy drumming clothes, and she's ready, she's nervous, but she's ready. So let's see how this goes, it's going well, it's going super well. The crowd once again goes wild. Oh, the bunny. Oh, that's where the bunny went. The bunny thought it was so good, so the bunny hit the green button. Lucky Chloe gonna, was going to hit that too. And hooray! That's two green, one red, which makes her the overall winner. So she gets the trophy, which Chloe is going to give up. There we go. Yay! Oh, keep knocking Chloe off. And that 100,000. Actually, we might put it like this because that'll be better for the cameras a hundred thousand smackaroonies and the bunny is just doing random things that's why they say you should never work with children or animals oh well it all worked out in the end so make sure you subscribe do click that like button leave me a comment tell me if this is a set that you would love to build and play with and i'll be back with another video very soon so i'll see you then